Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be updating a few apps right here on your Mac. So let's get started and on the top left hand side of your screen you're going to see the app logo. Tap on that app logo and from here you're going to see your third option where it says your app store. Click on your app store, that's going to open up and we're going to see all our updates. If you guys don't see all your updates, down here below on the left hand side you will see updates so click right there and from here just let it load up. We're going to see the main ones which we are going to start off with Final Cut Pro and then we're gonna move on to Compressor. So let's start off with Final Cut Pro. We can always click on Final Cut Pro and just update it or update it from up here. However, let's say you don't see the update. It's okay. On the top left hand corner of your screen, you're gonna see search. Just search for Final Cut Pro. We're gonna search for it. And right here, we should see all these. The first one should say Final Cut Pro. We can click on it. We can click on update again. Or again, we can just click on it like I mentioned. And on the top, we should see update as well. So from here, we can click on update and the update will start. This update's pretty small. So let's just go back into our updates, click on more, and we can see that this updates only 2.9 gigs. So that's just about three gigs. Now, depending on your internet speed, this could run really fast or really slow. At this point right now, for me, it's almost done. That's because my internet speed right now is running in okay speed. Let's do next compressor. We're gonna tap on update. It's gonna download it. Click on more just to view how big this is. This is only 314 megabytes, so really small. Once they are fully done, you guys will see them as updated recently down here below. So beside black ink, we should see Final Cut Pro soon. However, we're gonna move on and take a look at other apps such as OneDrive. We're gonna click on update as well. And yes, if you guys have a bunch of apps to update, on the top right hand corner, you will see update all. So I can always click up here and everything will start updating, which does include Microsoft Outlook. Also does include Microsoft Excel. Moving on to Microsoft OneNote and down here below, if we keep going, we can see Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Word. Obviously, if you do want something to go faster than the other, just update that one app first and then keep going. As for now, we have seen Final Cut Pro did its thing. It's already up to date. We can go ahead and open it up to just check it out and see what's new about it. But as for this video itself, we are pretty much done. That's how you guys can update your apps right here. We should see a screen like so once you open up Final Cut Pro. Just going to continue on and just get started editing or keep going with any projects that you have. I do have to mention that you shouldn't update your Final Cut Pro or any other app that you might be using at the moment. So if you're working on a big project in Final Cut Pro, I never, never suggest making any updates or running any updates, I should say, when you're in the middle of a project. Just finish up your project, export it, it's all good, then do any updates. That's just in case anything goes wrong. Especially with libraries, they tend to get messed up sometimes with certain updates, not all of them. Even safe updates tend to do that sometimes. So always finish up your projects before running any updates once again. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.